Hey, what up, decisive marketers? We're gonna be talking about a mobile app builder today, and I think that mobile app builders are getting more and more important uh, because you can get additional traffic from the uh, you know app store itself, and at the same time, when people install a native app on their phone, they are more likely to use it. All right so you know you can reach out to more customers uh, in this manner so uh, this app builder that we're going to be talking about is called stacks and uh, before i dive into stacks be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in stacks and uh, this is a demo um, app that we have so the first thing is uh, you can actually jump into templates and uh, in the templates there are a couple of designs right here so most of them are you know e-commerce based uh, but there are some that are you know more for a new site or something like uh, you know like a blog site and so on let me just disable my um, app blocker just in case you know maybe this these images are broken at the moment uh, but these are some of the templates that you can choose from right okay and uh, I have chosen this one right here a shoe store so uh, the first thing that you want to do is to connect your site okay so uh, so what you need to do is just to put in your site URL, uh, install the plugin on your WordPress website and, uh, and activate the plugin and it will uh, have a connection so that it can pull in your blog post, it can pull in your WooCommerce products and then you can show it in your mobile app itself okay so this is actually sync uh, into your you know WooCommerce site uh, but of course you can use it for many other um, you know like if you want to just create a custom uh, mobile app uh, just on its own you can do so as well okay so it's a drag and drop uh, you know style of builder which is very nice because there aren't many you know drag and drop builders out there uh, for mobile apps at least from what I know and these products are actually pulled in from uh, you know the uh, demo site that I have right here they have a lot of uh, products and it's all in here right and um, you can set up your slides you know you can just upload a image okay right you can just upload a image we, can I get some let's say this one right here so you can upload an image and uh, you know that will be the slides uh, in here and then you can set the styles as well right so this one is uh, a GIF okay and this one uh, product so you can actually select you know the product categories as well so that uh, to show what is in this section right here okay right so these are all uh, banners okay so you can put in uh, these are the blocks that is available you got images you got sliders you got text or HTML uh, you've got products you got categories posts sliders uh, sorry as covered sliders and then you got videos so let's check out videos so videos, uh, it's a you is a direct uh, link to the video. So let's try YouTube. Okay, so you have to have a direct link to the video to have it embedded. So that's something to take note of. Um, let's see this video right here. So this is the video. Okay, sorry, I need the embed link. Okay, so this is the one that I need. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the URL that I need. Just paste it in here and the video will be embedded nicely in here. Right. Okay. So uh this and uh you have so the, the image is right here. Um let's let's look at some other settings that we can have. Let's see the button. Okay. So it's a very simple uh text button and then you can link to your product, product categories, post or external URL. So it's a very simple button. Uh you can set the colors, um margins, paddings and all that stuff. Uh sections will be your columns. Right, let's check out posts. Okay. So posts will have category selection flowers. Okay, how about new? Okay, so we got this one right here. Right, your hello world and you can order them what kind of style you want, you want a grid style or list style right so list will be scrollable grid will be I guess you know vertical looking and let's look at categories okay so these are basically categories of products in here So that's quite simple. Uh, let's check out the text editor. So you can put HTML code in here, uh, but the text is quite simple. Okay. Right, it's your straightforward kind of rich editor, right? And uh, I guess that's that's all. And then we've got some global settings so you can set like the font for everything. Right, so you can change the font of everything easily, right? So I guess the global settings only sets the font. And I guess that's about it, right? So you have uh push notifications as well. So uh, what happens is you have to, you know, uh, you can set your Android version, um, Apple, uh, iOS version. So once you publish it, then, uh, you know, you can start to set some, uh, you can start to put up some push notifications in here, right? And then once you're done, you can just click on generate app. So then it's going to create an app for you. So let's look at some general settings. Uh, you can set your app icon, your splash screen as well. That's very nice. And application settings. So you can set the app text color. Okay, Facebook settings. Facebook app. Uh, Android key and stuff like that. Okay, so title. Let's try content settings. So you can set up your logo, login, sign up, background, about us, text. Okay. Add the link of the home page. Guest user permission. Whether you allow people to use the app without signing up. Okay. Apple settings. And I guess that's about it with um, Stacks Builder, right? So one thing about Stacks Builder is uh, they allow you to create multiple apps within uh, here itself. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I guess that's about it. You put up your settings, you select your templates, and you know you can get going, right? So that's Stacks build, uh, Builder. Um, I think um, I was quite surprised that you know this video is a little short, uh, but you know it seems to have the uh, necessary features in here. Of course, you know I think that it could have more blocks 
although I can't really think of any at the moment, maybe something like um, an accordion, uh, maybe some cast custom pages or something like that right uh, because it's pretty much just connected to the um, you know it's pretty much just connected to like your WordPress or WooCommerce site and uh, and that's that's about it right uh, Yep, I think I think that's all I have to share about Stacks Builder. It's not that um I guess it's it's quite simple. Uh app, app builder is drag and drop. So if you need to create a simple uh e commerce uh app or a uh you know a simple blog uh you know a app for your blog or something like that, I think this works uh well. Um and I guess that's that's all I have to share about Stacks Builder. Um, if let me know what you think about Stacks Builder in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. And lastly, if you know anyone who can benefit from a mobile app builder, uh, be sure to share this video with them. I'll see you in my next video.